Hey guys, Jay at Primal Project, leaders in rapid fat loss. And in this video, I'm gonna be running you through the exact calculations you need to be following if you wanna lose anywhere between half a kilo and a kilo a week. Alright guys, so let's jump into this quick video on how to figure out if you've got a goal of half a kilo to a kilo a week, what does that actually mean and how do health and fitness coaches actually get those results with their clients? Because for the most part, as a health coach, we can have a, a fairly good understanding if somebody's got a goal of losing five kilo in five weeks, we know how we can manipulate their diet and manipulate the exercise to get fairly close to that number every single time. So what I'm gonna to do today is quickly run you through exactly how we do that as health coaches. And once you have a better understanding of the numbers, you can go off and implement this yourself today. So if you've got a goal of losing half a kilo a week, you know exactly what you need to be doing in order to achieve that with regards to your nutrient intake and with regards to exercise. So in terms of Gaining weight or losing weight. So what does that actually mean? Well, for the most part, the, the number one principle that we teach is it's, it's a bit of an energy game. So we talk about the energy balance equation. And as you can see in this graph here, energy intake effectively comes through foods that we're eating. So whenever you hear the term calories, calories is just a measure or a unit of energy. Okay, so different foods have different amounts of calories in them. So we consume food and that's where our energy intake comes from. Now we expend energy or calories burned through a number of different things. Obviously staying alive um, utilizes a lot of that number. Exercise is another one that most people are familiar with. So for us to lose weight or effectively lose body fat, what we need to be doing is we need to stay in what we call an energy deficit. So that means we're consuming less energy than we are expending because that way the body has to go and find that energy from somewhere else and for the most part it's gonna to go to our muscle or fat stores to get that energy and that's where we lose weight. So that's the first thing that we need to wrap our head around. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out what that number is for you. So we're gonna come across here, uh, Precision Nutrition. This is a great little website and they've got a good calculator here that you can use. I'll put the link in the description so you can put in all your details and we're gonna use that right now. So let's take me for example. Kilo, so right now I'm around about 81 kilo. Age is 31. Let's go to centimeters. So my height's around 178. Then we need to figure out what our physical activity level is. So if we just hover the cursor over this little info button here, click the estimate of uh, estimate your level button to find your physical activity level. Typical physical activity level numbers range from 1.4, which is sedentary, which means you effectively, you've got an office job, you're sitting down, you're not really doing much in the way of movement throughout the day, to 2.5, which is very active. The de default is 1.6, okay? So that's someone who's lightly active at school or work, mostly sitting. So if you're in a sitting job, I'd typically leave that at 1.6. If you're doing a little bit of exercise, I wouldn't come up any higher than 1.8, just for the point that you don't wanna overestimate it because what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you more calories to work with throughout the day, and then you may not drop your weight that you're looking to drop as quick. So 1.6 or 1.8 is a pretty good place to start. Now, let's say I've got a goal of losing uh, three kilos. So I've got my weight at 81, so that'd make 78. And I wanna be fairly conservative with my weight loss, so I'm gonna be going for half a kilo a week. So that's uh, three kilos is gonna be six weeks, which is uh, 42 days. So we're gonna put that in there. Now down here, we can come and we can figure out roughly how many calories, or in Australia we typically use kilojoules, which is a little bit confusing. So I would say just stick, stick to calories for now, because for the most part, when we use uh, the next app that we're gonna be using to track, it's a lot easier to do it in calories. So to reach our goal of 78 kilo in 42 days, which is three kilo of weight loss, I need to be consuming around about 2,666 calories per day. So it's got here to maintain my weight at 81, uh, I need to be eating around almost 3,200 calories a day. So if my weight's staying the same at the moment, there's a pretty good chance on average I'm, I'm sitting somewhere around this number over here. So as we come down, uh, we've got a little graph here. So let's bring this down to our 42 days. And this will give us a rough guide of what that weight loss is gonna look like. Now I can tell you now that your weight is not gonna be consistently dropping like this. 
you'll have days where it plateaus, you might even have an entire week where it plateaus, and then it will start to drop again. So it's not going to be a perfect graph when you're losing weight. What I would say is just stick to the plan that you've got, try and understand and um, have faith in the numbers that you're following, and generally for the most part you'll get the result you're looking for. And down here we've got a little bit of a graph as well as to typically that weight coming down over the days. So that's always good to print out and track to make sure every week that you're roughly around these numbers and everything's going well. So how do we figure out what these numbers are with regards to the foods we're eating at the moment? Like how do I figure out what does 2,666 calories look like with regards to food intake? Well, let's come over to another website that we're gonna use and this is an app that we can use on our phone as well, which is super handy. And this is MyFitnessPal. So MyFitnessPal essentially is a food tracking app. Now the great thing about MyFitnessPal, number one, it's free, so it doesn't cost you anything. But the other great thing about it is all you need to do is input what sort of foods you're eating. You can even scan barcodes on packages. They have a huge database of foods on here, so I would be shocked if you ever input a food and it's not on their database already. And it actually tells you how many calories are in these specific foods that you're eating. So if this, let's take this person for example here. They've got a goal of 1,210 calories to be consumed per day, which is extremely low. And as you can see, look at their breakfast. They've had strawberries, uh, scrambled eggs, honey, and Greek yogurt. And that's added up to 500 calories of their 1,200 for the day. Lunch, they've had some more food down here. So they've just been inputting this either manually or they've been, you know, they would have probably scanned barcodes on, on the honey and the Greek yogurt. And that's effectively, MyFitnessPal is gonna tell you roughly how much food uh, calories you're in, inputting into the body. And remember, you need to stick to your goal. So my goal, if we come back here, was 2,666 calories per day. So, I, so mine will be 2,666 here. And I need to make sure my food throughout the day effectively just stays under that number, okay? Now this person here has inputted their exercise as well. What I would recommend is don't go put in an exercise to start with because what it does is it gives you additional calories to work with throughout the day. So it's given them an additional 285. When you get started, don't worry about inputting your exercise because you will tend to just overeat and it's going to really slow down your, your weight loss results. So just recapping again, remember the energy equation is the most important thing. So we need to be in that energy deficit to find out what that number is for you based on um, what your goal is. I would say start at around about half a kilo um, half a kilo a week. If you want to go for a kilo, you probably are going to need to be doing some form of exercise throughout the week as well because your deficit number is going to be so low that it's going to be really hard to eat that little amount of food to hit those numbers. So exercises are always a good way to burn those excess calories. And then you need to download MyFitnessPal. You can do that on your phone or do it over the computer, completely free to use. And then at the start, it'll ask you to input all your data with regards to what your goals are. Um, you can put in here what your goal is with regards to calorie intake. And then from there, it's just a matter of scanning uh, barcodes and inputting your food and watching your progress and watching the weight, lo uh, weight loss come down over the coming weeks. Now, I hope that video has brought more clarity around what you need to be doing moving forward in order to achieve your fat loss goal. Now, if you want someone to build a roadmap, actually build an action plan for you moving forward, we do offer a 30 minute strategy session over the phone. So what I recommend, if you haven't done that already, there will be a link down in the description where you can click through and book a time with me personally to jump on the phone. And what we'll do is actually look at your circumstances and build you a plan moving forward so you know where you're going and roughly timeframes in order to achieve your fat loss goals. And this for a limited time is completely free so jump on the description down below and book in a time now.